What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. I'm down here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. I've been selling real estate for 18 years now. <laughs> it has been, it's been a roller coaster, to be honest with you. I uh, grew up roofing houses right here with my father in Gulf Shores, all over Baldwin County. Um, it's kind of funny now, we, we drive by, drive by, and I actually sell houses and show houses that, that I used to roof. Um, but I got in real estate when I was 20. I failed a history class at the University of Alabama and said college is not for me. And I uh, took my real estate class and decided, you know, it's easier to take one class and have the same, you know, income opportunities, um, you know, as people who go to college for 10 years. And I decided to go that route. It took me eight months to make my first sale. Eight months to make my first sale. So that was a pretty tough eight months as a 20 year old kid, roofing houses, doing real estate on the side. Once I sold my first deal, I started selling two a month and then the market exploded. Literally made a million dollars by the time I'm 23. <laughs> I never had money, didn't know what to do with it. Ended up buying a bunch of stupid things like cars and houses, but then also invested a lot of money too. But I didn't invest it correctly. Nobody really told me how to invest, so I ended up over leveraging through the big boom, the uh, mortgage boom. And uh, when it crashed, I lost everything. Went back to roofing houses, slept in my car, slept on friends' house, uh, uh, friends' couches, and went back to roofing houses. <laughs> I went bankrupt. I uh, eventually landed a job on an oil rig. And I read 100 books during that time because I wanted to figure out what I did wrong, like where I went wrong, why I lost everything. And when I think back through the whole thing, it's really a remarkable uh, moment. Um, that was one of the happiest times I ever was, except for right now at this moment. And because uh, I learned so much about myself and about the business. And so 2008 was the year I got back in the business. I started building my business on people, not deals. And by 2014, I was selling 100 properties a year. Um, I've been a single agent the whole time. I've sold 100 properties a year ever since. And this year, 2020, will be my best year ever. Before I started using video marketing to build my brand, I was using, which I still believe in um, wholeheartedly, but I would pick up the phone and call whoever my targeted audience is. You know, for real estate agents, it is property owners. And then I also, still to this day, do a weekly email. Okay, I built my entire real estate brand on my weekly email. And I've been doing it every week, every Wednesday, since 2007. So think about it for a second. The moment I got back in real estate, I started this email because I knew at that moment that I had to accumulate relationships with clients. And I had to have some kind of system in place that I stayed in really close contact and engagement with anybody I ever came in contact with for the rest of my life. And this was the very best way, and I still believe it's one of the best ways to cultivate and nurture relationships. It's because, you know, when they see it every week, they recognize you as being consistent, dependable, hardworking, honest, all the things that they want in a real estate agent. This, when you do it the way that I have done it and the way that I teach other agents to do it, it really does all the heavy lifting for you in terms of going deeper with those relationships in a way that you can scale. So before I got into making videos and stuff three years ago, um, and building my brand that way. I literally picked up the phone, I made 100,000 calls in 15 years with my finger before there were automatic dialers and also the weekly email. So, you know, that kind of all brought my real estate business to a very huge snowball moment um, that is just continuing to grow and grow and grow. Um, and then at that point, I wanted to <laughs> create a larger brand, a global brand, you know, because real estate is very local and it's very small in terms of the size of audience that you can build compared to how many people are actually on the internet nowadays. So through that, it was just phone calls, emails, and then when I wanted to go global, that's when I had to start doing videos and social media. My success before video, to me, when I look back at it, was massive, <laughs> okay? Because there's so many different ways you can skin a cat. There's so many different avenues, okay? That's one thing really difficult uh, for entrepreneurs in general, is that there's so many different ways to go, okay? There's so many avenues and everything works. So the problem is, is that most people, 
they do too many things because since everything works, people don't want to miss out on what they could succeed with over here in this avenue. Even though they know this other avenue may be better, they still don't want to miss out. So they end up trying to do everything and then they end up basically never really mastering anything or doing anything extraordinary. So with my success before I started doing video, you know, that's what I did. I focused on the two or three things that I felt like was the most productive for my business at the moment. And that was having com real conversations with people. And if I was gonna do that, I was gonna break it all the way down to concentrating on the most effective, efficient clients that I could possibly call, the most targeted people. And that happens to be property owners. So calling those property owners, having those conversations, following up with a weekly email for the rest of their life <laughs> was the highest productive activity that I could do. And it took me to a place where no one could catch me. Okay, no one could catch me. I just looked at my numbers for agents in the entire county and my entire MLS since 2014, and there is absolutely not a close second place. But I have literally, I'll, I'll tell you this, probably the first time I've said this, you know, on a video or something, video literally doubled my income. So video helped me build my business and build my brand through the fact that it gives your audience, your clients, your prospects, a different layer of your personality. So when people see your written word, when they hear your voice through podcasts or something like that, when they see your pictures, when they see that you post consistently, they see that you're working, those are different layers of your personality that they may have to assume some of the other layers, whereas video gives them pretty much the rest of the puzzle. It kind of gives them the full picture of who you are as a person, to a certain extent, of course, but it adds an extra layer, and I believe that extra layer is, could potentially, it's debatably, probably the most important part of the puzzle, on top of maybe the most important would maybe be meeting in person and actually having a in-person interaction, but the, the video gets them as close to you as possible without meeting you to kind of get to know who you are, what you think about things, what your, you know, speed of voice, body language, you know, so on and so forth. It really helps them understand who you are a little better. And the more you can allow your clients, your audience, your followers, your whatever you want to call it, your database, your prospects, the more you let them know who you are, and really kind of uh, let go and sacrifice a lot of your insecurities to allow them to let them know who you are as much as possible, that's gonna only increase your their trust for you, the rapport, because in today's digital world, it's almost like a virtual reality, right? And so the video kind of helps you get as close as reality as possible. Social media and the videos that I create have brought huge opportunities in terms of speaking engagements all over the world. I was a keynote speaker at R4 in Brazil a couple years ago. Amazing experience. Free trip to Brazil, spoke to 800 real estate agents, and it all came from videos that I made, people in Brazil watching the videos and you know loving my content and asking me to come down. Um, the book deals that I've gotten, referrals, from other agents, even though Alabama is one of the, probably the least uh, <laughs> people come, there, there's not a lot of people relocating to Alabama, but through my video content and the brand that I've built with other agents around the country, as little of people that do relocate here and buy property here compared to the rest of the country and other the huge cities, I've gotten tons of referrals um, over the, Really, it's really picked up this year. 2020 has really picked up. Up to that point, it's been okay with the referrals, but it goes back to you just gotta keep putting content out there. The more consistent you are long-term, the better you'll be. And it comes down to not caring how many views, followers, subscribers, likes, comments, you know, none of that really matters. It, it really doesn't. So let that be a lesson to you and um, take it for what it's worth. But the opportunity for video to build your brand locally and globally is massive and the opportunities that will come out of it if you will just do it on a consistent basis are of which we've never seen and it's only gonna get worse. When I try to think and quantify what 
media and video has done for my brand and my income because a lot of people, um, every once in a while I do get the question of, you know, what's the ROI on this and you know, how much money are you gonna make and how long is it gonna take? And the answer is, I don't know. It's different for everyone. I can tell you my story. I can tell you what, how this, how this journey has went for me over the last three years. This is the fourth year that I have dove into creating content, making videos, posting on social media, trying to build a brand. Uh, and I'll tell you, the first two years, I literally sunk 100000 a year out of my pocket, cash out of my bank account into that business. The third year, I broke even. I spent a hundred and I made a hundred. So we're heading in the right direction. I'm breaking even. Year number four, five hundred thousand dollars was the income, and I spent two hundred thousand that year. So I actually, since I was making so much, I was putting more into the business. So if you look at that trajectory, I lose a hundred thousand for two years. I break even the third year, and then the fourth year I actually profit three hundred thousand and I invested twice as much that fourth year. Based on everything that I've learned over the last four years, it's, it's like you're paying to learn and it's a business where it starts paying you back. <laughs> if you learn along the way, figure out what works and what doesn't work. Guys, I bang my head against the wall forever trying to figure out you know, what to do, how to do it, when to post, what to say, how to film, the whole nine yards and I'm still learning. I, I, I'm making tweaks, I'm making huge changes right now as we speak um, based on what I've learned over the last three years and here lately and moving forward. So you're always gonna see me, you know, morphing into the next Ricky, into the next, uh, the next thing, the next idea. But if I had to, to put a number on it, I have literally doubled my income up to this point. I'll make twice as much this year as I normally make uh, personal income wise because of video. But I had to invest a lot of time, money and energy into you know, doing it for a long time. So it's just like anything else. Nothing happens overnight. You have to put your time in, you have to learn. And if you don't start, then you're never gonna get there. If you, if you don't start, you'll have zero chance of success. I strategically use video to grow my brand through trying to create videos around what my two cents is on different things and especially things that are happening in real time. So when you think of video as you're being a media company and that you're trying to bring breaking news and your opinion on things, when you start giving your two cents on different subjects and um, different things happening, that's when people are really gonna start tuning into you. When you start giving your opinion and you have a great opinion. <laughs> you know, when people start really feeling like your opinion is interesting and against the grain, that kind of thing, that's what I've realized over the years. So I try to strategically create videos that I'm giving my opinion on different things and um, kind of what I feel about certain things going on at the time in real time, breaking news stuff, stuff of that nature. Um, but also posting on all platforms. You know, you, you should be on all platforms. You never know what platform uh, a client or a prospect uh, is gonna come from. So you have to be everywhere. When I'm diving into current events or other things happening, what I'm talking about is, like for example, um, there's an election coming up. And a lot of people think, oh, if this person wins or that person wins, it's really gonna affect my business. No, it's not. Okay, so that, that is my opinion on that subject. One thing I like to do from a real estate business when I'm doing my weekly email, this is something you guys can incorporate, is I'll Google my area, I'll click the news tab, and I'll look at articles, recent articles. Now, some weeks I'll look through that list of articles and I'll say, there's nothing interesting here, or this is all old stuff, or just nothing really. But every once in a while, something will really stand out to me. And I'll read that article, okay? And then I may incorporate that into my weekly email. And I, I don't use video in my email because I feel like that can get red flagged and go to people's spam folders. But however, on social media platforms with video, you could literally take that same article, spin it, you know, bring that to a video format on your different platforms 
you know, inform the public about this breaking news moment and give your opinion on it. Um, so there, there's tons of different things you can do in terms of, you know, current events, um, different, you know, avenues. There's all kinds of things. So just staying on top of, you know, what's happening via internet, you know, restaurants opening up in the area, restaurants closing in the area. There, there's all kinds of, of things you can do in terms of current events. When it comes to trying to use video to convert uh, more sales, uh, the, bi the biggest thing is, is to be yourself, right? Because the, the main purpose for all my content, for every phone call I make, for every email I send, is literally to build a lifelong relationship with my clients and customers. So the conversion, what I want you to understand is that the conversion is not the closing, but they haven't quite mastered communicating that to their prospects. So when you can figure out and you can work on your communication skills via phone, via in-person, via messaging, via email, you know, I, I've really got to a place where I feel like I'm really good at communicating that I care about whoever is watching or reading or listening to my content through my content. I feel like every piece of content I put out there, people realize, wow, this guy really cares. And that's what people need to think of when they see your content, and that's what's gonna help you convert much more out of your videos. Anyone, and I repeat, anyone can do video marketing. Um, I know that there's a lot of agents out there who are scared to step up to the plate, scared to, you know, they're, they're scared of what someone thinks, they're scared of looking dumb, they're, they don't like the sound of their voice, they don't like the way they look. And all that is absolute nonsense. If you go back to my very first videos, you'll see, if you wanna see someone who sounds dumb, who looks horrible, who, uh, yeah, if you wanna see something like that, go back and watch my first couple videos. It's part of the process. You're not, you're gonna be nervous. You're not going to enjoy the first time. Very few people actually have that confidence that they actually enjoy that first video, that first moment on stage, that first phone call. Um, so if you're lucky to be one of those, then great. But if you're like the rest of us, the 99% of people out there, you're scared at first. And I'll tell you, the very first video that I did, it was on Facebook. And what I did was, I filmed it with my phone. Um, I was uh, doing a walkthrough on a property, on a new construction, and I said a little something in the beginning, held my phone up in front of the house, said a little something, and then I walked through the house with the clients and you know, talked about it a little bit at the end or something. And, and then it was recorded on my phone, so it wasn't anywhere yet. It was just on my phone. And I said, you know, I'm gonna post this. And, uh, and I went to Facebook, I uploaded it, and I wrote a little text there, and you know, it was something was holding my finger back, you know? Don't wanna, don't wanna hit post, don't wanna hit post. It's kinda like when you're making calls, it's like your finger just won't quite push that last button to get make that phone ring. But it's like ripping a Band-Aid off, you know? You just hit post, you let it go, and you forget about it. You go do another one the next day, hit post, forget about it, do another one, do another one, and as time goes by, you're gonna get better and better and better, and you're gonna see that the feedback that you get and the comments that you get are all positive comments. I mean, if you're on Facebook, those are all friends and family. So you're gonna get nothing but you know support and praise and positive energy, and that's gonna make you want to continue to do the videos because you're gonna see that it's working, that people are recognizing who you are in the community through doing these videos. So yeah, anyone can do video and everyone should do video. Authenticity is your brand. Who you are, your personality, what you think, your values, your opinion. The real you is your brand. That should be your brand. If you're on video and you're not being authentic, if you're being someone you're not, if you're lying about what car you drive, what house you live in, you know, what job you have, how much money you make, if you're, if you're out there lying, on social media about those things, then you're not going to grow because people see right through you if you're not authentic, if you're not real. Listen, people would rather know that you drive a beater right now with the intentions and, and uh, motivation to you know, eventually have a really nice car and then them watch you through the process if you document your process 
from having that beater car till you have that F-150, till you have that Tesla, till you have that, they're, they're going to enjoy watching that process and you're gonna gain a million more followers doing it the real way, the authentic way, than you would if you just pretended like you were already there. No one's gonna follow you at that point because there's really no proof that you actually have that because people haven't even followed you through that journey up to that point. And now they look at you like they look at all the other fake accounts on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And they say, okay, you know, block. <laughs> they block you. So even if your story isn't the greatest right now, be authentic with your story and let them watch you. If you're gonna be at the top one day and you know you're gonna be at the top because you are a hard worker and you know you see the path and you know where you're gonna be in five years based on what you're doing today, go ahead and document where you are right now so people can watch that journey and then see where you are in five years in terms of your social media growth, your influence over your community and, and your audience. Um, it'll be on an entirely different level um, when you compare those two paths of authenticity or you know not being who you say you are if you want to get started using video to build your brand the very first step is to take your phone hold it in front of your face and hit record and start talking that is the very first step towards you know building your brand via video get into it make it a habit you know if you want to do one video a week you know every Monday morning spend the whole morning till lunch you know creating that content getting it ready and putting it out for the week there's no reason at all not to start because everyone has the ability because everyone has a phone everyone has a phone so there's absolutely zero excuse uh, for you not to be creating content uh, video content so step one hit record for everybody out there right now thinking about making a video and you're sitting there with your phone, you're holding it up, and you just can't quite push that record button. You don't wanna go live, you don't wanna post anything, you're scared about what you look like, you're scared that someone might actually judge you. Judge you for what? Trying to work hard, trying to be consistent, trying to provide for your family. Every single time that you do not press that record button, what are you doing? You're saying to yourself, you're saying to your family, you're saying to everyone, your coworkers, everyone who knows you, that you don't care about them enough to put your insecurities on the line to provide a better life for you and your family. So the motto I want you guys to go by is, is I don't care. Every time you think about a reason why you shouldn't do something that you know is gonna take your life to the next level, say to yourself, I don't care. I don't care what people think. I don't care what I think about myself. I don't care how hard it's gonna be. I don't care what I look like. I don't care if the wind's blowing, if the sound's not good, if the lighting's not good. I don't care. I'm gonna do this for me. I'm gonna do this for my family. And I'm gonna live the life that I wanna live. Why? Because I pushed the record button.